Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a get ready with me using products of yesteryear. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this is just gonna be a simple get ready with me using products that are already in my collection. Um, I just needed to think of some videos that I could do where I just simply use up the products that I already own. I've had to throw away so much, give away so much, um, and just kind of let it go because it expires, as you all know. And when makeup starts to go bad, it starts to stink, the texture changes. You know, I'm sure that you all know exactly what I'm talking about. So I thought that this would be a simple video where I could just use the makeup and decide if it's still any good, what I still recommend it, do I still like it, does it still work the same, you know, all those type of things and yeah. So this is what I came up with using products of yesteryear. With all that being said, I hope you're still interested. Let's get into the video. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Comes in a package like this, and this is the actual cream. It's really nice and thick, as you can see. I really like it because it plays so well with um, makeup. As you all know, some moisturizers, creams, uh, skincare doesn't play well with makeup. I like this one because it does. So let me get that in all good. And for my foundation, I'm going to use the Huda Faux Filter Luminous Matte. It comes in a packaging like this. And I've talked about how I don't like this because it's so drying on my skin and it just looks really terrible. So I'm going to mix it with this Tom Ford flawless <laughs> Tom Ford flawless glow foundation comes in a package like this or this is the bottle and this is the applicator you all know that I cannot stand applicators like that so anyway I already have those two mixed right here and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my skin All right, so I've got all of that applied. And the reason that I wanted to mix these two together is because this one is super thick and this one is more fluid, very thin. And I've actually tested it out a couple of times like that. And to my surprise, it actually worked really well. I mean, I like the coverage of the Huda foundation is just that it's so thick and so drying and any type of imperfections that I have is definitely going to show if I just use it solo and take these earrings off. I mean, I think that these two mixed together look so good. And actually this uh, foundation right here I got from the cosmetic store. I'm sure everybody's familiar with that by now, but I think I got it for like 20 bucks, maybe not even that. All right, so I got that done. And for my concealer, I'm gonna use this Moira Mega Concealer. This is it. And the shade that I have it in is 600. And I got this concealer out of my HPB H-E-B grocery store. So if you got an H-E-B near you, I would definitely say to check it out. Okay, it's coming together. And I still love this concealer. This concealer is the business, y'all. If y'all haven't tried it, you gotta try it out. All right, so I'm gonna do a little cream contour with the Huda Beauty, <laughs> Huda Beauty Tan Tour. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this because the shade is dark. And you only need a little bit of this. I'm only just tapping it in just a little bit and then kind of getting the extra off. on the back of my hand. All right, so now that I got that done, I'm gonna go back over with the sponge that 
I use to apply my foundation and I'm just gonna go over all of this just a little bit and before I set this concealer I'm going to blend it out a little bit more just to kind of address everything that has settled into my lines okay all right and i'm going to use my wet n wild contouring palette i have totally used this to death okay i'm just going to take my sponge and while it's still wet i'm just going to go ahead and set this All right, so now that I have all of that done, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Becca, let's see, Golden Bronze. Well, the color is Golden Bronze and it's actually the Retouch Hydra Mist. This is the packaging. And, woo, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I really like the packaging on this. All right, so I'm gonna use one of my favorite bronzers and this is by Charlotte Tilbury. I know that I'm not the only one that's a fan of this bronzer. What shade do I have it in? I've got it in, I guess it's shade three. And this stuff is so nice. very very beautiful very pretty okay so i'm gonna go way back <laughs> i don't even know if they still sell this but this is the true blend blush by covergirl y'all remember this one i'm gonna use this blush and i've always enjoyed using this one because it kind of has uh, a little bit of metallic um powders in it looks like a little bit on my nose. Very nice, very nice. All right, and for highlighter, I'm gonna use this Becca palette. Uh, this has been since discontinued. Um, it opens up like this. This is the Barbie palette. I'm gonna use a mixture of these two shades, which are super, super gorgeous balls. And I'm just gonna put it here. Got that done. And now I want to move into, I'm gonna do brows. I'm not gonna do a lot um, in regards to my brows. I'm just gonna fill them in just a little bit. And I'm gonna use this uh, NYX Lift and Snatch. This is the pen right here. And it's just a felt tip. I'm just gonna fill in my brows just a little bit. Just fill in the sparse places. All right, so I'm done with the brows and as you can see, I barely did anything and that's only because I want that super, super soft look. I don't want the, you know, the made up beat to the gods uh, type of brow done. Um, although there's nothing wrong with that. I just want a little bit of a softer look. Um, so now I'm going to go in with the, one of these by Mario palettes and it's in between these two palettes right here. So I think I'm going to use both. I'm going to use this shade as well as this matte shade, but first I'm going to use my bronzer as a um, crease shade and I'm just going to add a little bit up like this. And I'm just using a BH Cosmetics brush. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use this matte shade in my crease. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. All right, so on my upper inner eyelid, I'm gonna use this shade right here. All right, now I'm going to apply this shade right here. I'm gonna apply it with my finger. And then on the outer V, I'm gonna add some more of this shade right here. All right, so I got that side done. I'm gonna add some eyeliner, and this is just a Wet n Wild black eyeliner. And for the lower lash line, I'm gonna use this shade right here, the same shade that I used, the same shade that I used for my outer V. So I'm gonna finish this side and add some lashes and I'll be back. All right, so I am back with the lashes on and all that good stuff. I am going to put on a ColourPop uh, Super Shock uh, highlighter in Wisp. I know that I already added a highlighter, but I can't even hardly see it. So I'm gonna add this with ew, a sponge. And I messed it up. It was all neat and now I got it. I smushed it all up, pressed down too hard. Now for the lips, I'm gonna use this Melt Lipstick. It's a lip gloss. I'm not even sure if they sell these anymore, but they had a sale on these some time ago and I think that I bought like every color they had. Ooh, this color is so pretty. All right, let me go back over to. All right, now I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Mm. All right, so this is pretty much it. If you still use any of the products that I use today in this video, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.